Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Adventure Time here on the Gaming's yeah. Let's Plays channel. Uh, we kind of helped out Flame Princess. Whoops, stabbed her there. Uh huh. Kind of helped her out a little bit, and, yes, and uh, then stabbed her. We, yeah, then we kind of stabbed her. Ah! What? What? Why are we screaming? What? Oh, it's a glitch. It's a crisis. It, it's a glitch. Oh. That, okay. Uh, Maybe they're <laughs> screaming with pain because their faces are so messed up. Sweet. No. It's a glitch. Oh, okay. All right, all right, all right. So I have to remember that. But like when a glitch <sighs> happens now, I, I'm gonna scream like Bemo. Ah! Yeah. And it kind of happens a lot. Rocket. Stay, stay up there, you little monster. Oh my gosh. So yeah, what were you gonna say? I'm sorry. Huh? You were, about what? You were, you were saying so, and then Bemo screamed. But... Oh, uh, there was a treasure chest up there, I guess. Ah, yeah. yes. <laughs> I, I, so, we're in the Fire Kingdom. Or... So yeah, I started school and uh, yeah, that's all I can say so far. That's that's all that happened. Amber still has all her uh, arms and legs. So so far. So far, yeah. It's my oh yeah. I probably never told the story about that. Oh no. And my first day of uh, orientation, like there was like ninety people in the room with like all the kids that were starting school and adults like I would say you know a lot of them were young but there were a fair number of adults just a big room of people mm. and like they were talking about how three weeks in we were gonna start knife skills and, oh. then, and then they were like oh this is when you know Everyone comes home with all these injuries with cuts and stuff, and you know, they have to go to the nurse's office. And I'm like, What? Wait. Like, I was freaking out because I thought people weren't. Kids channel. So, my eyes got really big, and I, like, the, basically, the head of the school was talking about this and basically announcing all this stuff to everyone who was gonna be inducted into the program. And my face, I was like, I think my mouth opened, and I was like, <laughs> I did not. I did not say anything, but the person looked right at me, and he was like, "Oh, he's like, oh, you, you a little worried about that?" He's a, like, he singled me out of this giant group of people, and was like, "He's like, it's okay." He's like, "We'll get you home, kid. Let's get you home." Yeah, let's get you home. And then he's like, "We'll get over." He's like, "We can work on those fears," and I was just like, and everyone in the whole like school basically looked at me, and I was like, "Ugh." But I mean, come on, it's like, he said there's injuries, like, all the time. I was freaking out, so, yeah, all right, so that's my story. Just to explain what's happening right now, uh, I've learned, like, while playing this game off-camera, uh, and not recording episodes, is when you find the little Gunther guys and bring them back, uh, to your boat, they disappear, and then they hang out, like, on the side. And what you're supposed uh. to do is you're supposed to bring these guys to, there's, like, a little ice island. It's oh. close to where... Ice King is, but it's a it's kind of like in the green mossy wooded area. Yeah. Uh kind of near the evil forest, but not quite there. And you want to put all the little Gunthers over there. That sounds like a pretty ice place to put them. Yeah. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, I just realized that most of my ice puns just come from replacing the word nice with ice. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh this time around, people. We're gonna try to uh, get to our next destination a little bit quicker, so we'll see you after this jump cut. Okay, so we're back. Uh, got lost a little bit, but not that you guys uh, saw that, so that's I great. I did. Yeah, Amber, Amber was here. I witnessed it. She was there. She saw it all. I saw it all. I reached up with my uh, hand and snagged, snagged, snagged and that snagged stuff. It. So we're still in the Fire Kingdom. Um, I ended up I don't know where I was going. I, I mean, it's, you know, it was just kind of going and... We were just cruising around. Yeah, kind of. And uh, we're still looking for the island where the... I guess the niece of the Fire King was banned or something? I don't know. Oh, yeah. And I was no help at all. I didn't know where we were. Oh, I, I told you to oh. open up our sea chart and, you know... Yeah, it was like... Yeah, I guess we're supposed to be following that star, but it's kind of... Hard to do that. Yeah, you just have to follow the star. I mean, as long as we stay in this vicinity of the Fire Kingdom mm -hmm. thing, we should be able to find it. Cause like, yeah. 
all the molden rocks and stuff like that are good indication. You're going the right way. And the sky is all dark and <laughs> dreary and stuff. Fire Island. Firebreak Island. Oh, we're really close. Yep, this is this is it. Firebreak Island, yo. Yeah, the number is getting lower on the mm -hmm. star. Yep. And uh, if you guys are wondering, oh, why didn't you go to the Mushroom World? Or why didn't you go to this other thing? All the other levels are... Uh, what? What, what is going on? I was going to say, all the other levels are optional. Yeah, all the other levels are optional. Okay, that was weird. But let's stock up on some items while we're here. Definitely. Yes, I want some fresh produce because I have nothing. This is like a farmer's market that sells super muffins, band-aids. If I could have a muffin that could revitalize me, you know, from something horrible Maybe happening. Maybe I'll learn how to make a muffin that will be revitalizing you. Revitalizing Maybe. muffins! Maybe I could put, like, protein power powder. Oh my gosh, I just thought of something. What? Oh, uh, it would never happen because the chances are someone would never watch that Korean movie, but the okay, the, the chef movie, Come we did commentary again. for that. <laughs> 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 with the guy with the oh hand. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh my gosh, maybe oh. we should have different tiers where some are not as, like... Like, well, I don't know, the I, guy with his uh, hand, I don't know if that would be... I mean, there's no swearing in it, but it's just like, I wonder if it's considered family-friendly with a guy hurting his hand like that. It's freaky. Yeah, and give him a hand, but no, we're, we're just gonna stick to, um, you know, uh, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, we've opened up a new Patreon tier where we'll be doing um, audio commentaries for movies that you guys can... You pay $3 a month. And uh, you and your family can sit down and like watch a movie with us or listen to us just doing our thing If you guys don't know this Amber and I when we go to the theater sometimes we talk um, And you know people will be like why are you talking during the movie and stuff like that? So <laughs> yeah, now sometimes people have jerks next to us. <laughs> yeah, so now <laughs> we can we can guy. talk during the movie and uh, You know people actually want to hear what our crazy it. thoughts yeah, are. Yeah, definitely and uh, I, we had this idea a couple years ago, but we were like, no, there's no way you could do that because copyright and all that other stuff. But then Patreon is like, boom. So Mask of the Phantasm is going to be our first. Be place. Yeah, on? it's going to be our first place doing that. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Ooh. Yeah, monies. Sorry, Jake. Okay, he's supposed to say ow when you like run him into things because... Yeah. Uh, the Kraken off the way up there. I've never seen the Kraken just stay there for this long either. Also, it has health bar. Did you see it? Like, okay. Oh it's yeah, I didn't notice it at health bar. I didn't either. I thought like you could only you know attack that thing for a limited uh, time. I was just thinking about that one. <sighs> Forget so, it. So how do we get up there? How, how do we get up where? There. Wait. I can fit in here. Bimo? Bimo can fit down that hole? But, is that safe? Wait, what are we- we're supposed to- we're- we're Bimo now. Okay, this is an experience. I'm Bimo. I can fit in there. Yeah, Bimo- Bimo just says like one or two words and then there's- Oh yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's a Bimo thing. I can see now. I can see now. It... Hooray for Bimo! <laughs> Yay, Bimo! Bimo is the best! Bimo's the best. Wow. This is interesting. I wanna be Bimo. I yeah, be most kind of cool. I don't really know where we're going, but where? You can jump. Yeah, we can jump. Did it. Good job, Bimo. But how are you gonna break all these rocks? Never mind. Whoa, he showed you, didn't he? I thought all he does is he's just a support character. Okay, then we'll just get our team up here then. But yeah, uh. Our tier is called K Wings at the Movies. It's three dollars a month. Yay! And we're gonna keep our Discord tier for a while, but uh, I didn't think we actually had thirty people who paid for the Discord. I was like, wow. So thank you so much for that, people. We really appreciate the support. But we hope to see even more of you guys, uh, you know, going for the movie tier because I think that'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, and over time, uh, you'll be able to like have like a 
a huge collection of our movie commentaries because we're going to be releasing like one or two a month. Cool. I know it is cool. <laughs> and uh, you only have to pay for one, and then all the other ones are unlocked monthly. So that's that's how we set oh, it up okay. on Patreon. It's a it's a monthly thing. Oh my gosh. Because I don't think everybody would want to pay. You're like, gonna $3 make me watch more movies. I think we're in trouble, dude. Yeah, we we might be in trouble, but we're fine. We're gonna watch old movies or new ones. We're gonna do all kinds of stuff. Like well, we I've, have we have a lot of movies. I've never watched um Batman like the one with the red suit, red and black. Red and black suit. Batman be, the one where he trains another person. The red Beyond. And it's not really a red and black suit. It's a black suit with a red em emblem. That's what I meant. Like Batman Beyond. I've never seen that. We could watch. That's probably a series, though, not we, a movie. We could watch the. Well, actually, no. The first uh, three episodes is considered a movie. So, because they're all connected, and they aired as like a mini movie. So. That's cool. But yeah, Mask of the Phantasm is first, and then I th think. I don't know what we're doing after that. We're we're uh, getting ideas from people. Um, just so you know, we're only going to be doing PG through PG-13, G through PG-13, and we're very selective on our PG-13. Just superhero movies. Uh, and just really good 80s movies. And really good 80s movies. <laughs> most 80s movies were actually PG. True, true story. PG-13 was kind of big in the 90s. the crazy Arnold ones, but then they had the made-for-TV version. Oh, the old Arnold 80s movies? No, we couldn't do because those would be rated R. Yeah. The the television version of those movies. I wish they would release the TV versions, like the censored ones. Sometimes they're more fun because they would yeah. like redub. They'd have Arnold Same. come in for TV and he would redub like the inappropriate things he said. And yeah, they, it'd be funny. They redub it to something oh. funny. So not math. It is not math, but this guy's going down because, as you guys and gals could tell, our characters are a little bit stronger than they normally are because I did a little bit of grinding. So we are much stronger than we were before, which is good. Yeah, we're stronger than before, Luke. Oh my gosh. I walked into that one. I'm gonna have to find a new way of saying that so it doesn't end up. Stronger than. No! <laughs> no! No. No. Stop. Just. <laughs> Don't make me run Jake into things. Cause I'll do it. I'm Go, Jake. What is wrong with you? You would think that all of the guards you had to fight to get here might have given you a clue that I don't want to be disturbed. Um. It actually seemed pretty normal to us. Yeah, we have to fight a bunch of guys to talk to most of the people we want to talk to. <laughs> and that doesn't send you any sort of message. It should. Um, that we're persistent. <laughs> <sighs> What do you want? We need you to come back to the Fire Kingdom with us and superheat the core. The fires are almost out. And why exactly would I want to do that? Because your fire will fizzle too if the core goes out? Hmm, good point. Okay, I'll help. But I'm going to need you to gather some things for me first. I'll make you a list. Cool! Um, no offense. Uh, I can't believe the fate of Ooh is in your hands. Just meet me at the core when you've gotten everything I need. Okay, we okay, can do that. Okay, so we have to get a bunch of stuff. Yeah, uh, apparently, is it this stuff? Yeah, those yellow. Uh, oh, I was orb like, things? I don't think she can really be picky or he, whatever, because it's Not like. That's a she. Yeah. I've, I've never seen her in Adventure yeah. Time though. Because it's like she has to fix the core too for herself. Well, they all rely on that like fire energy. Yeah. Okay, so, you know what? We're gonna try to do a shortcut. Because, I don't know. I just... There's something about these fire things that I don't like. So we're gonna have Jake make it all the way over here! Oh, so close! Oh my gosh, you were that, this close. I know, missed it by that much. Oh my wow, gosh. Luke, you were so close, that was crazy. Alright, well, I'm still gonna find a way to do these shortcuts. Cause I don't Let's wanna... Try it again. They, yeah, they want us to go through this thing, and it's like, no. I wanna, mm. I wanna find an easier way of doing this. Oh, oh, oh. you were so close! Wow, Whoa. it's uh, what? How did? What? Stop that! No, it's glitching! <laughs> ah, stop! Stop glitching! 
No, 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 you're not even on the edge. You're not even, at, you're on the wire. Somebody move him. Move Jake. Oh, thank God, Bimo. Good job, Bimo. That was pretty funny. It was, but that, that could have like, that would have been a game breaking glitch right there. Then we would be. And we could shut it off and start over from the No. <laughs> Mainly Why can't you just I don't want to go on the boat again. The jump boat, off the, the bridge. Boat, the boat is not the fun part. I bet you could jump off the bridge and land somewhere good. Nah, I don't think so. I think we're going to try the bike again because I think we can make over there. I think we were aiming the wrong way. Here we go. Booyah! Yes! Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is crazy. This is nuts. That is a shortcut, ladies and gentlemen. Did you just see the awesome <laughs> that just happened in front of your eyes? Oh yeah, that just happened. Yep, you're basically uh, I just I James Bond right now. I totally changed the game. I don't even know if you're. It, well, this is our walkthrough. This is how we're doing yeah, things. So I mean, mind. and this yes, this is actually the way you're supposed to do no. it. I, I don't know if it's necessarily the way you're supposed I, to do it, but it's the way we're doing it. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyone who wants to be cool can do it that way. That's right. If you want to be cool, then you can do it like that. If you don't want to be cool, well, then... It yeah. looks like Finn is, like, on his, like, wobbly knees right there. I think that's him jumping. Oh. His bones have got to be, like, jelly. Even Jake looks like he's more sturdy than... <laughs> Yeah! Him. Yeah. Know, right? yeah, Finn has... Boomerang power! Finn has issues. I can't wait to come the time to uh, dub Christmas movies hilariously. That's gonna be great. I just have to be in a good mood, because sometimes I'm in, a, I'm in a salty mood. Yeah, I... well, I, I know how... It, it's... <laughs> you just have to give me ice cream before. Yeah. Watch some Teen Titans go. People will get on us about watching Teen Titans go, but it's funny. So I mean, sometimes it makes me the happy. Yeah, it makes makes Amber the happy. And I get to see the Starfire be weird and holds kitties and stuff. Yeah, I'm actually taking you to see the movie um next week. Yay! Uh, Tuesday. Oh, we have that one three dollar off coupon. Boo. We thought we got a free movie because we had to leave the Thanos movie early. Because the guy had a stroke. And so I I was like, oh, can I use this free coupon for when I saw the um, uh, the Rock movie? Wow. Skyscraper. skyscraper thing, yeah. And then they said, oh yeah, you can use this coupon. They're like, it's not a free movie though. You three dollars off. It's like that is so lame. It's like okay, so I mean, I don't want to say how much it is at my theater for a movie, but I think it's like eleven dollars for one ticket. So yeah. three dollars off. You're still paying a lot of money to just see one movie. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. Remember what, when we mm. where we grew up, it was $5 at the movie theater. Oh, yeah. Well, prices have changed for everything, so... I know, right? Boom. And... Ice sword. Mathematical. Algebraic. Done. Look at that. See? This is why it's important to gain levels, kids. Stay down, you ding-dongs. <laughs> Um, Almost at level I, seven. I don't know who, who Finn was talking to. I guess uh, the enemies. Well, hopefully it wasn't us. us. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't appreciate that. That wasn't very nice, Finn. No. Oh. Yeah. There's a, uh, a treasure chest for Marcy over there in the background. You know what I find funny? I mean, probably hardly anyone will know what I'm talking about. Mm. But anyone who has a Regal Cinemas in their state... They have that Regal Cinemas commercial where the girl is, like, studying in school, and then she's like, This Coke would go great with some popcorn. And then they're like, Let's go to the movies. And then they go, But it's like... Do you realize you can't actually bring... Technically, you're not supposed to bring that soda in with you. You'd have to buy another Coke. Mm -hmm. So you actually can't... I'm just looking at that commercial, I'm like... This Coke would go great with popcorn? That's nice, but you can't even bring that in with you. you. Can't even bring food in. I found some treasure. Technically, you can't, but... Yeah. I mean... I think we should avoid the guards for now. Yeah. Just leave it to me. We'll wait here. Wait, what? Did I break something? Uh... Maybe... You're supposed to go through the funhouse the other way? Oops. Oh well. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it's good. 
Trigger invisibility. Invisible mode. Invisible. Oh, we got that weird yellow glowy thing. We'll just hide behind this rock while this guy comes you up You are us. so, um, you're basically violet right now. I wonder if they took this. This is exactly like the, um. Except the invisible power doesn't last as long as violet's does. Violet, like, curse lasts a lot longer. Yeah, but this is exactly how that level was set up with violet. Yeah, I would agree exactly. so. Exactly. Yep. Oh, I, I really think that people... Well, I don't know. I feel like that they may be fans of the Incredibles game or something. Bimo, what... What are you... What the... Bimo, what are you doing? Uh, are you... Is Bimo gonna be okay? Uh, I don't know, but... Ooh. Well, sound effect was a little delayed there, but we got another one of those... Whatever that is. Return to the Flame Prince. I can't see. Okay, that was weird. Jumbled mess. What? What is this? I wonder if Flame no, Princess close, has a first name. Yeah. Her name is just Flame Princess. That's her title. Ah! They're chasing us. Stop chasing us, yo. No. And boom. Yeah. yeah. Got some cupcakes. Mm. That's for reviving your party when your party gets dusted. Oh, yeah. And after like recording a bunch today, what? well, not too much. It was a half day today because I had a doctor's appointment. By the time, yeah, right now my medicine or my Tylenol is finally kind of kicking in a little bit. That's great. Yeah, it is. Headaches are no fun. Fighto! Did you know that people say that um, Tylenol is supposed to be able to help with emotional pain and physical pain? That's what somebody told me. Freaky. So if you're sad, supposedly Ooh, if you take a Tylenol, tasty. it's supposed to help. Wait, where's Bimo? I don't Bimo's really not in our party. Bimo left. Well, that's not good. He became a hero. That. He. Oh, let's get. He took Zen one back. for the team. Here, Cupcake power. I bet I can make you uh, like a superfood cupcake with like chia seeds. Sweet. No. Wheatgrass. No. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. <laughs> make regular cupcakes. What if I just put lots of? I haven't had a regular cupcake in like ten years. All right. Good luck. Wow, love. that that sounds like I don't really cook for you a lot, uh, which I don't. <laughs> you don't allow me to have a lot of sweets. Like, no, I just haven't really been cooking a lot. I haven't had time, and I'm always oh man, cool, man. Oh, <laughs> plus our our stoves always smell you weird. That's true. And it's like every time we cook, the smoke alarms go off. But here's the thing: they don't go off for several hours. Yeah, it's like hours. We'll, later, we'll cook. Go off. We'll cook like around eleven at night, and then by six in the morning, that's when the smoke alarm. <gasps> You know, ten wants to go off five six in the morning. Yeah, it's weird. Oh yeah. Well, even when I microwave something on the microwave today, either it was steam coming off of it or a little bit of smoke. I was surprised. It was just one of those mac and cheese dinners. Mm -hmm. It was like, is this normal? I don't think so. And these guys are strong though. I mean, we made our uh, weapon strength and our like uh, health like more, but. Still, it takes a long time to beat these fire guard things. Can I say something really great about this Good game? Guys won. Dingus is zero. What? Well, there's a lot of really great things, like everything is really cute and stuff. But the voice actors, like, they just like put their all into it, even though it's a video game. Whoa! Whoa! That is way hot. What the heck? You know what I mean? They sound just like the characters in the in the show. Oh yeah, they gave it, uh, the voice acting is an A-plus job. I have no idea what's happening right now. Huh. Like, what? Uh, 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 when's that patch happening? Okay, oh, there, there we go. Uh, you were behind a rock. Well, that's weird. <laughs> that shouldn't have been a thing like that. Where did know. Bimo go, though? Bimo's gone. Bimo went off the edge. All right, uh, Jake, uh, come I thought Marceline went off with him, but she's <gasps> still here. I don't know. I don't know what just happened. But yeah, I mean, like, this game just exudes fun. It's just, like, happy. And I wish I could play- I wish this game was, like, three times as long. It's probably the last Adventure Time game, though, because Adventure Time is ending this summer. 
Oh, it's we weird that I find, Ten seasons. I finally start appreciating things when they start to be gone. Well, I mean, you can always binge watch. They have like over 200 episodes of the show now. Yeah, I guess they could start binge watching it now that it's gone. Well, it's not gone yet. It, it's ending in August. August or September. And uh, speaking of September, uh, people are like, what, what game are you guys going to be doing? It's like Spider-Man, September 7th. Spider-Man oh. PS4. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. It's the only big superhero game coming out. And yeah. Because the Lego... I mean, yeah, it's a Lego superhero game. It's the DC characters, but... They've changed a lot of it. They also, they went and they recasted half of the, the heroes and the villains with, like... I mean, years ago, I would have been like, Yeah, this is awesome to hear animated series and Justice League alumni come back. But, at the same time, it's like... Amber and I are so used to the Lego DC cast, like Troy Baker and all those other guys mm -hmm. who have been doing the voices for close to like, I like seven or eight years. I like Troy Baker in it. In fact, Troy Baker uh, as Batman, he's still being Batman in the Lego DC movies. So it's like... He is Lego Batman. Yeah. He is. There are other people that do great as regular Batman. He is... He is the best Lego Batman. Because I heard Kevin Conroy, he's just doing... I guess they wanted more of um, Next stop, that, you know, straight-laced humor. Like, where he just, you know, he's the straight man and Joker is the, the comedic person. But mm -hmm. the guy who they got to do the exaggerated Batman, Troy Baker, was fantastic. Oh, hello. Yeah. You know? I Kevin agree. Conroy... I just don't think I he can do comedy. I can't doing Lego. Yeah, I mean, I mean he's... Justice, he went to Juilliard, so... Yeah, he went to Juilliard. People go there, they have no sense of humor. But the Justice League action <laughs> show, it's like... I, I've watched some of it. It's funny, and it's action-packed, but the Batman stuff is always like... He's just playing the straight man. And it's like, yeah. Troy Baker would say exaggerated things that sounded funny while yeah, he was trying to be... Yep. You know? That's what makes Lego Batman so much fun. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm a little worried about that, but... And Lego Batman was awesome even before it had voice acting. Yeah, because it was all, like, a body body uh, language. Hmm. Mm hmm Lego Batman is so cool. Lego... Some of my favorite Lego games ever. Lego Batman, Lego Indiana Jones. I think the reason why I have been putting off Lego Harry Potter for so long is because I cannot imagine it having a lot of humor. Like, Lord of the Rings did not have humor, and it made me depressed. They, they tried to add humor to it, but it just didn't it work. It was depressing. They, they did prop humor. It was humor, but at the same time, some of it was morbid humor, and I was just like, this is not... No, it, was, it was prop based. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was like they would have the soundtrack from the movie, and then it was like they would just have weird props. But yeah, like, but the reality is... Lord of the Rings, let's be honest, is a freaking depressing movie. Oh yeah, without a doubt. So, adding Legos to it just makes the Legos seem sad and depressed. <laughs> yeah. As much as I love Lord of the Rings, it is depressing. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the uh, Flame Princess, and uh, if not, maybe we should go to where that big yellow <laughs> beacon is, I don't know. But um... I don't think there's much left of this game, because like I said, the Mushroom Land and the Green Moss area and some of the other islands that you can go to, they are kind of bonus areas where you can bonus. do subquests and stuff like that. I mean, in all honesty, this game can be beaten in about probably four to five hours, maybe less. Well um, if you try to do all the side quest stuff, I think you could probably get like another maybe three hours out of the game. It's a very short game. Um, and that might be why it has, like, all kinds of, like, bugs and glitches and stuff like that. Uh, you know. But whatever. Yeah, that's great you're over here. We're, we're, In a fight, where we are. Where we are. What you need's a few drops of my healing goo. 
No, I don't want to, crazy rhyming man. And we have no money, so... I think healing goo would be a great and, like, normal purchase. Well, no. okay, if that's all you need. No, but not. I gotta say, that sale was sad indeed. Stop rhyming! Why does wow. everybody have to rhyme? But anyway, people, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check out some of the other cool vids we got going up. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy our latest Patreon perk, those of you that are on our Patreon. So, until we meet again, God bless and happy gaming. See ya! Yep, we'll see you guys at the movies.